Hi, my name is Scott Jordan. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Scotty Vest. We're located here in Sun Valley, Idaho, and you wonder why it's called Sun Valley. I'm here to show you my home. They call me the pocket man, by the way, because I design clothing with tons of hidden pockets and compartments. And I design my house kind of with that design philosophy in mind. And I'm gonna walk you through as if you're a guest in my home, and I'm gonna take you all down through the entire building and I'm gonna do it in one take. So here we go. That's my building. 411 East 6th Street. It's a total of four floors and a roof deck. Uh, about 7,500 square feet. It is uh, an environmentally built building. It's a trom wall, it was built in the 80s. So you actually utilize the heat on the sun, it protects it and it provides heat. So it's really environmentally friendly before people started talking that way. Uh, I'm gonna first show you my home and then we're gonna walk down to the office. The home was completed in October in a total of 11 months. And I could not be more proud. It is truly my dream house. Um, this is the company name, you can see. We're still in the process of putting some logos up. There'll be a little pocket emblem up there, but it's so cool to see that. So we control or own the entire building. My wife and I, Laura and I live on the top floor and the three floors below uh, is where we have the business. But the, you'll notice on the top floor, everything is integrated. So we actually have meetings there, we have photo shoots there. So, you know, the, the line between home and work is really blurred. It's my old bus. There are about four different ways to get inside, maybe even more ways to get inside the building. This is the main entrance, and this is a, a cool little lock that, well, if it's working right, that is, senses my iPhone and opens up. So come on in. Welcome to the home of the pocket man. This is my garage, obviously. And there's some music and stuff that plays. We've got some clever things that aren't quite done, but when you press this button, that speaker is gonna trigger music that's gonna be anticipation. It's making me wait. Get in the elevator. Come on in. Okay, you zoom in, zoom in here on the elevator buttons. We're currently at reality. We're gonna start at residence. And Door's gonna shut. And what we do is to try to have fun. We put a little chalk here and people can write on the board. It's chalkboard paint and there'll be music associated with each of those elevator keys. It's a little glitch we're working out. So when you press roof, it'll press play Stairway to Heaven, for example. Uh, residence during the winter, it'll say coming in from the cold and reality, it'll probably be free falling. So, welcome. You'll notice one thing about this home. Very few things left out because everything has a pocket. Our cabinet maker told us he, there are more cabinets and nooks and crannies in this home than any other home he's ever created. We gotta do a calculation to determine just how many pockets in effect. Cabinets is another way of a pocket. There are, so coming back out, you'll notice that I have a lot of pocket man clothing. <laughs> so walk with me. Now you may recognize me by the way. I was on Shark Tank, so I can with the press of a button through my iPhone or any Apple device, change the TV. We're gonna cover a little technology of things that are done tech, you know, really cool from a technological perspective. So first and foremost, this is our home. This is it. What you see is primarily our home. It's our office. It's our party space. It's one big room. It's awesome. We have friends come over, sit at the dinner table. That's a bed that we can sleep in. We have many others. This is our intended loft style living. We have no children. We have three standard poodles. We design the home around our lifestyle not around someone else's. We didn't think about resale, we didn't think about anything. So heated concrete floors, it's uh, lots of concrete throughout. We expose some of the concrete. You'll notice uh, the brick you know, or, or the steel that we have here, pure concrete here, 
someone had covered that up. A local artist did that. Um, we love the uh, separation here, barn door. So if we have guests that want to come over, we put them back there. We are completely private here. We can even lock this down if we wanted to. We keep it open so the poodles can have free reign at the house. So my favorite room. Let's start with my favorite room, the powder room. Check this out. This is spectacular. I personally designed all of the concrete. In fact, Laura and I designed most of this house ourselves with some help here and there, but we used a SketchUp artist and we decided what it should look like. We put it in a model and we made it. And so people are always freaked out to see how this all works and all comes together. This is quartz, LED lighting and a super cool faucet. So this is the powder room. Um, media center area, I want to show you this. If we were sitting at the dinner table and wanted to watch TV, sporting events, we designed the house so that from any view you are seeing no less than four or five TV screens, perhaps even more if you count reflections. So we'll come here. This is the Obviously the coolest part on a sunny day, if it weren't so foggy, that is a straight on view of the ski mountain. Through these binoculars, you can see people skiing. It is off the charts cool. These, uh, these doors, very, very cool. This was a key element in our design. They open wide. They open all the way, all these open. So you can walk right through the corner. So it's not only as you see here, they all open all the way to the end. So there is no separation between the outside space and the inside space. So come on out here. I'm gonna show you another cool feature here. Everything is controlled with my iPhone. So I can control most anything. And I'm just launching my uh, remote control for all the TVs, it's loading. Don't you love technology? While we're waiting for this to load, let me explain some of the cool features. Obviously, we have furniture covered up. These are really cool fire pits. This right here is a water feature that we have uh, running during the summertime. This is all water and lit with LED lights and water here and water drips down here and it drips down there and it drips down there. It's all super cool. And then if you wanted to watch some TV when you're out here, you're chilling out, check this out. Outdoor TV will pop up slowly. I always envisioned like 2001 Space Odyssey music should be playing now. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I know that's not the music, but um, you uh, get the idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to give you a perspective. That's a view of my bathtub. So if I was in there that I personally designed, and you can hang out there and enjoy the view of the mountain, and uh, this door opens wide, and now the TV is almost up, and the music's going to be going. And from this perspective, if you were to have a party, People up, and that's, we're going to save that for last, up on the roof deck can be enjoying um, part of the band that's happening here. So I'm going to put the TV down. We're going to come back down here with a single button. The TV goes down. And these doors are like 1,000 plus pounds each, and yet, provided you turn the uh, knob right, they open quite simply. One of my favorite features is the fireplace right here. Does throw off a, a fair amount of heat if you want. You can see the fire going here, and just with the touch of a button, if I wanted to continue watching my favorite episode, I can uh, do so simply by pressing a few buttons on my iPhone. So I designed this myself, and it's a dual sided TV. It wasn't terribly that expensive, to be honest with you. The TVs aren't expensive, some fabrication, and you know, before you know it, I've got the only dual sided TV swivel fireplace in the entire world. Um, on a beautiful day, you can see the mountain, a view of the mountain from any of these images. So when you're standing here, you can see amazing views of everything. This door opens wide. We designed this bed ourselves. Remember, I'm the pocket man. 
So this has more pockets and compartments than you can possibly imagine with ah, all these are pockets. All those are compartments. This is a compartment. Pulls out. Everything was thought through with keep the clutter out of the way, much like my clothing. In addition, we have um, the ventilation. We had to come up with a clever way to, to, to put the ventilation. So you'll see these really cool industrial-like grates. So those are hidden throughout the bed, all underneath, because it was a real um, struggle to try to solve that. I'm going to turn the heat off because I'm actually getting pretty hot here. So follow me. This is another view of my bathtub that I designed myself. And you know, I'll explain why we're doing these strings here in a second. But this was designed so I could put my iPhone up while I'm in the bathtub or iPad up and uh, have a nice place so it would stay fine and I can re uh, watch what's on there and go from there. So you remember on the pocket man. So of course we have to have a pocket door. So here we go into Laura's hideout, also known as our bedroom slash master closet. How many master closets do you know that have a full-size, king-size bed here? The dogs love it. They hang out in any particular bed. Nice big screen TV here. Uh, excuse kind of the mess. Um, we're cleaning up some wires here. These are all Laura's cookbooks. She likes to be surrounded by her cookbooks. And so she is, and when I make a mess, what does she do? She goes like this, lifts up one of these, kicks it right underneath. So you'll notice there's no mess, no mess throughout the house. Um, lots of mirrors, lots of room there, come in here. And, and again, there's, there, there's music. I could change the music on my iPhone using Sonos on any room at any time with any point, and all these are motion sensor lights. It's um, more technology, but technology that works for you, not just for the sake of it. I designed this sink basically on SketchUp. You know, why do you need big sink bowls? You don't. No one fills the sink, so I decided to design them in this fashion. Cool LED lights here that, you know, not only do they backlight the mirror, but check this out. I wanted water here, so I created, keep the camera on there. When I turn that on and off, you can see how that, that creates. And at night, it's spectacular. So here's another view of my bathtub. This is the view I see. Now come on in here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. First thing, more technology. Check this out. That is how I turn my tub on. In 22 minutes exactly, it will fill up my tub to a predetermined temperature. Is that cool or what? That's wireless, by the way. So that's a wireless adapter to a, the precise temperature that I want. I can press a button, walk away, and have it filled up. So right here, it occurred to me, I didn't necessarily want to have my bathtub in my bedroom, in my kitchen, in my living room. So we're about to create the coolest fish tank ever. It's gonna be a fish tank from here to here that you'll see through. We're gonna have a thousand neon tetras lit from the bottom, just like you see there. And neon tetras are these little fish. They look like guppies, but they glow. And it's gonna be cool, because either way you could see it. And now when I'm sitting in the bathtub, I'll still be able to see I'm super stoked. So I'm not done. I'm still designing. Here we go. Um, all right, I gotta show you my toilet. Check this out. When you walk in, it opens for you. It's heated, it cleans you, it's freaking awesome. How many toilets you know have their own remote? I guess it's not removable, but it's a remote for the toilet and it's awesome. So I don't use toilet paper anymore. The kitchen. You have never seen a cooler kitchen in your life. Laura designed everything about this kitchen. Um, it's all designed to be a, a real a, a cook's kitchen. It's intended to work from. The level was perfect. The, the sink here, the sink there, this level, this reduced level, you can't help but notice our dog bowls. 
four standard or three standard poodles. Unfortunately, we just lost Lucy. Um, so it's, again, all these cabinets are designed for all your things to have everything hidden. Uh, you know, just so I always forget where the thing is right up there. Um, we have these cool LED lights up here. Uh, I can remember there. This is my favorite. Okay. I love coffee. So if I want to make a cup of coffee in the morning, all I do is I open up the coffee app, Top Brewer. I decide what kind of coffee I want. It's connecting via Bluetooth. So give it a moment. I heard the beep. Put my coffee cup here. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a shot of espresso. I'm gonna have a really strong 9.5, ah, 8.5, one cup, two cup, ah, 1.86, start. Now check this out, come on. Tampering, it's tampering. Pre-infusion, not to be uh, confused with the post-infusion method. And before you know it, brewing. And you have a perfect cup of espresso. How cool is that? I can do this from bed. Mmm. You're wondering how the magic is made? Check this out. It's all right here. They actually flew a guy out from California to do this. That's the wasted beans. The new beans are up there. Very, very cool. So, as any version of Cribs would have, and this is my version of Cribs, what's in my fridge? Let's show it off. I didn't plan for this, so I got some beer. I'm a Perrier drinker. I got some more Perrier. We're on the all beef diet, so we got lots of beef, some wine, some vegetables. All right, that's what's in my fridge. So, let me just scan. Oh, you gotta love this. This is a little subtle thing that only certain few of you might appreciate, but um, I'm a technology guy, you see. I like speed and I like technology. So right there is our Wi-Fi router. It's made by Meraki. And if I press begin speed test. Speed test, and we go restart test. You've never seen Wi-Fi speed this fast. So wherever I go in this whole building, I get this speed on my Wi-Fi, and I get even faster when I'm directly wired. So most people get like between one and five megabytes a second. I got 198 down, 187 up. Fucking awesome! I can stream Netflix 4K, I can stream anything super easily. This whole building is set up for this kind of technology. It's, it's awesome to go anywhere and have like fiber optic speeds everywhere. Look at this, one single piece of glass. And at night, this glows up, this little, all these bubbles shoot out, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. So, looking around, I think I covered most of this. So, come on back, I'll show you the rest of the house. We love our animals. These are a tribute to all of our current and past animals. That's Lucy, Margo, Chloe, Kelly, Wolfgang the cat, and let's not forget Susie Paduzzi, the baby. So here's our laundry room. Quite small. I don't need a big laundry room. And right here we have an exit. Every house needs a poop deck. So that's where our poodles go out. We don't have to take them out every time they have to go to the bathroom. Pretty simple. This is the guest quarters. You will forgive the mess. We have some tools and stuff we're trying to get rid of, but you know, we, we designed the house so that we could have people come and stay and feel comfortable, but also that we can move around different bedrooms. So there's nothing prettier than looking at the fire. Every deck has its own water feature. Every deck has its own TV. There's a TV over there. Obviously the water feature is not running now. Um, but in the summertime or spring, we'll turn it back on. That's a brand new fire feature um, coming at you. Here's my favorite sink. So again, when you walk in, lights turn on for you. I designed this one myself as well. 
shower, all the normal stuff. So. so come on out, this is our back deck. You know, honestly, designing this house was one of the coolest things I ever did, much less ever did with my wife. It was so creative, so awesome. Um, again, you know, these cushions are gonna be put up, this fire is just put in, puts off some great heat. Cushions go here, have a big 70 inch screen here, water feature right out here. Um, and all this is controlled from my iPhone if you want. And again, every house need, with three standard poodles needs their own poop deck. This goes right into the sewer system. We clean it up periodically, not as often as we should. This is all lit, so when you step on it, lights turn on. Um, come on up. Follow me. Oh, I see the light here. This is perhaps the coolest part. This is where the elevator gets out. Um, this sucks because the view is 360 degrees. You get a sense of what it would be, but Viking grill, never been used. Um, gonna start to use it. Uh, Viking fridge, full of Perrier, sink, water feature with our own little river in it. This comes down here, water comes down here, all lit with LED lights underneath. So, um, weather's not cooperating, but you get the idea, it's pretty fucking cool. This is all water, by the way. You're stepping in water, hot tub. Now I have my own TV over there and a shower. So I sit here in the hot tub, I watch TV, hop out of the hot tub on one of these through the water that's lit, that's rolling, and take a shower, go downstairs, I'm good to go. So come on, I'm trying to think any technology or again, all this is surround sound and controllable with, you know, I can, I can stream my pictures, I can do every, anything I want. Let's get back in the elevator. So um, if you know someone at a magazine, uh, dwell preferably, our favorite magazine, you know, send them this video. I think it's really cool. I'd love to get the home in it. I want to be really selective to get the very best magazine because once it's in one magazine, other magazines won't do it. Love to do architectural, architectural digest. One problem, we fired our architect right at the beginning of the project. Um, in effect, so um, they're not going to be too pleased with showing people that you can design homes like this without an architect, believe it or not. Obviously, an engineer was involved. Let me just shut this door here. You have now completed the tour of our home. I'm going to walk down the hall and show you our business. I'll make it a little quicker from there. My wife's name is Laura. It's Great, great story about this. She was named um, after this Laura in the movies. Lucy, who unfortunately never got to see this home a month before we moved in, she passed. Okay, a lot of you from the city, you have big commutes. You're about to take my 14-step commute. Come on. We have grand plans for this. We want to create like a light that emanates from this dome that you see. Um, sort of like Batman, but more like Pocket Man. Gonna put a climbing wall up here, maybe a swing, get some music going. Who knows, we're gonna have some fun. This is um, the third level. Hey Susie, you get to meet the poodles. Okay, there's Susie Baduzzi. There's Chloe, hey Chloe, we're doing a video. So they come to work, we allow dogs to come to our offices. Um, this is the workout area. It's a full workout facility. We hire trainers um, pretty much every day of the week. There's a trainer here, and employees are welcome to work out and, um, and hang out. Full kitchen back here. You know, pretty nice kitchen, in fact. Sub-Zero. Full sh shower and a bathroom back there. Nothing too special, but, you know, make it available for employees after they work out. And, and we, we brought all this down. We tore walls down. You know, we, we brought back the natural concrete because we love it. And here's a, a little sitting area with a non-working fireplace. But uh, 
And her people were working. There's Margo. She's our other poodle. Hey, Margo. This desk is super cool. This desk, I don't know how it all works, but it, it senses you and it moves up and down. It's a standing desk. Um, it's pretty freaking cool. And on a sunny day, if you can turn it on now outside of the camera, on a sunny day, you see the beautiful ski mountain. So um, you can see all these big, massive steel frames here. These were required to build up there. Yeah, we like this industrial look. We tore down the ceiling. You know, we like the black. Um, this is a wall fish tank. You know, um, we're just getting, getting it going. This cool colored fish, it's uh, fun. So it won't be nearly as cool as the one upstairs, but you get the sense. So come on downstairs. We'll go through the rest of the office. This is our garage door right here, and we use these, again, all these fancy locks so you don't need keys. We're going to go all the way down to the first level. I'll come back. The last thing I'll do is I'll show you that level. And still, you know, I'm thinking about putting a fountain here so that there'll be water here and drop. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this space yet. So now we're on the first floor. Um, and because the way the building is constructed, every floor, even though this otherwise might seem like a basement, it really isn't. It's got windows. And I want to let you know that the whole building is fiber optic and it's super fast despite the problem I had before so that anyone with a Mac can show me what is on their screen at any one TV or I can show anyone what's going on from anywhere. So really technologically advanced. This is our customer service area. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Spencer. Is he going to be nice to me? <laughs> no, apparently not. So um, we have three full-time customer service people. This is our graphic designer, Zach. Say hi. He's uh, responsible for a lot of our artwork. This is when I do some, some Skype interviews. I do it here. And we have our own green screen studio back here. So, And you can follow me back through here. We've got a full kitchen, and this super cool espresso machine, nowhere nearly as cool as the one upstairs, but still cool. We've got a full bathroom there, a couple hot offices there. Hi, Kate. How are you? Kate's my executive assistant and in-room bookkeeper and everything. One last floor, and then we're done with the tour of Scotty Vest offices and Pocket Man's lair. This floor is a work in progress. I actually had complete designs for this entire floor, and every time I knocked down a wall, I decided to start over again. So it, 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 it's, it's a blank canvas, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's gonna be super cool. This is the last floor, it's the main floor, if you will, and I intend to put some retail space here, some lounge space, my conference area, and maybe even uh, an espresso bar or a, you know, a little pub. I, I can't figure it out. There's so many different things we can do. Um, those pipes at the top, those are bringing in the hot and cool air from that trom wall I described earlier. I'm gonna put some pocket icons. Over the windows, we're going to design some cool LED functions, and um, it's all concrete, you know, and I, I've got this massive idea for the, a, a bathroom. So check this out. I'm going to describe it. You walk in a bathroom, because we design travel clothing, and we're about to buy Sky Mall, or so I think. Uh, you walk into a bathroom, guess what? You find yourself in an airplane bathroom. It looks like an airplane bathroom. A little more comfortable than an airplane bathroom, but it's got the windows from an airplane bathroom, the toilet, a little nicer toilet, but basically we're going to buy an old airplane bathroom, we're going to make it up. Now those windows, we're going to put LED screens behind them, several of them. So you're going to see clouds, you can walk in like, what the fuck, and you're like, I might... Then, then you're going to see like a plane go by this window and then it's going to go by that window. Then you're going to see like a hang glider and a jet fighter and, a, and, and like old, like Godzilla might grab a plane down. Then you're going to see me as Pocket Man, Pocket Man, you know, flying through the air and just humor, you know. So we're just trying to have some fun. So um, follow me. 
Again, this is a yard sale now. This is an open canvas. We're gonna make this a lot cooler. We're gonna do some live stream. We wanna do a reality show here. I think it'll be really cool. Um, this, is, this is my office. This is where I sit. So, thank you for coming along on the tour. It was a pleasure to share my house with you, my work, my life. Um, I, I'd love to do this again. If you're ever in beautiful Sun Valley, Ketchum, Idaho, knock on my door, ask for a personal tour. If you know someone at a magazine like Dwell or many of the others, send them this video. Tell them they need to cover this house. I'm Scott Jordan, CEO and founder of Scotty Vest, and I'm the pocket man, and I am out of here. <laughs>